What is going on internet? My name is Lou and I make Linux videos and I put them on the internet. Today's video we're going to be covering the topic of NVIDIA settings. So if you have the in proprietary NVIDIA driver installed in your system, then you have this application called NVIDIA X Server Settings. This controls all of the settings for your GPU. Now, the one I'm going to be focusing on today is PowerMizer. Now you'll see that power miser here is uh, set to adaptive clocking. What is adaptive clocking? Simply put, uh, the, the driver will be set to scale your GPU um, based on system load. Okay, so if, say for instance, you're on a laptop, okay, and you're on battery power, you're not doing anything graphically intensive, maybe you're browsing the web or just listening to some music, there is really no need for you to be at the highest clock speed because what that's going to do is obviously going to drain more battery power put more load on the system you're probably going to have your fans kicking in all right it's going to obviously generate a, a lot more heat and that none of that's good okay so adaptive clocking if you're on a laptop is something that would really come in handy and probably something that you want to leave uh, and enabled by default now i'm on a desktop okay and for me I like things pushed to the max all the time. So um, for me, I, I spent some time and some money on a high-end um, computer system, and I want to make sure I'm pushing it to its max at all times, just because why buy all that good hardware if you're not going to take advantage of it, right? So battery uh, you know, preservation really isn't obviously a priority for me because it's a desktop. Um, and you know, fans, even when this is set at its highest speed on my desktop, it doesn't really generate too much more heat. You know, my um, car right now is operating at a fairly cool 35 degrees Celsius. You know, the highest I see this go is maybe 40, 41 degrees, even when I'm doing video editing or um, I'm working with um, graphics and GIMP or so on, it doesn't really get that high. So I like mine set to the preferred maximum mode. Now, when you actually change this option here within the GUI uh, application, it's only good for that particular session. Once you reboot your computer, it's gonna go automatically back into adaptive clocking mode and scale your GPU. Now, if you haven't played with this setting before and you've noticed even with the proprietary driver, some stutters, you know, maybe when it's opening up a menu, um, I've noticed it specifically when I was watching HD videos or uh, Blu-ray videos on the desktop, um, that there would be stutters in um, the playback. So if you've noticed that, then there could be a, a quite a good possibility that it's due to this adaptive clocking. So I like mine set to the maximum performance or the highest clock speed at all times. Now, how do we get this to happen without having to come in here every time we boot our computer and change the mode? That's actually fairly simple. There's a setting in our xorg.conf file that we can place so that each time we reboot our computer, it's going to have the preferred maximum performance setting enabled by default. So if you open up your terminal and simply type sudo nano forward slash etsy forward slash x11 and zorg.conf, hit enter, supply your password. Okay, here's our xorg.com file. Now, the, the uh, option that I want to draw your attention to is this one right down here under the device section. This is the option. Now, this is going to set the uh, NVIDIA settings application um, to load the preferred maximum performance option at every boot. It's that simple. Okay, so you're going to come down here to the device section. All right, after your board name, you're going to just copy and paste in this option, just as you see here. I'm gonna include this option in the video description below. So just copy and paste it in. Once uh, you've copied and pasted it in there, you're gonna hit Control X. Now, in my case, there was no changes, so it's not gonna ask me to save anything. But once you add that option, it's gonna, the, the Nano is gonna obviously detect that there was a change. You're gonna hit Control X. It's gonna ask you to save it. You're gonna confirm with Y for yes or N for no. Select Y. And then it's gotta ask you if you wanna overwrite the file name. Just hit Enter. Once you do that, reboot your computer, and now you'll be running at the preferred maximum performance mode at all times. Hopefully, guys, this was a helpful video for you. If so, leave a comment in the comment section below. And until next time, we will talk to you guys later.